uh, that's a very interesting question. So when you approach it from the perspective of uh, supply chain theory, the pass-through contract is an inefficient contract. We always talk about it within a supply chain, the conflict of interest between supplier and buyer uh, creates situations where the behavior of the firms is not according to the best that the overall system can do. Uh, and those situations we are looking for contracts that, uh, as the economic theory will tell you, achieve first best. Uh, what the system achieves is the best possible, even if the system was owned by a single entity that will make the best possible actions for that system. So the pass-through contract in uh, uh, the environments that we are analyzing uh, uh, it into is not the first best contract. And the so-called revenue sharing contracts, where the buyer and the supplier agree not only to share revenues but also share cost, is achieving first best for other ideal environments that we uh, typically like to analyze. Environments where there's perfect information, there are no uh, market frictions, there are no transaction costs. So someone would expect that you will see a lot more revenue sharing implementations for these kind of uh, risky environments, uh, but we don't see that as much, uh, not only in a volatile price environments, but also in other environments, because of the rather uh, difficulty in sometimes fully implementing these type of contracts. Extra monitoring costs uh, to know exactly what are the revenues, a lot of coordination in order to appropriately share all relevant costs, and in many cases a difficult implementation. But theoretically, the revenue sharing contract in these perfect market environments is a dominating contract over the pass-through contract.